Hi everyone, in this video, I'm going to help you set up Fiddler Everywhere on your Linux machine. But before we get started, if you're wondering what Fiddler Everywhere is, this is a neat little network debugging proxy tool loved by millions of developers worldwide. Fiddler Everywhere is used to inspect, debug, mock, and even share network requests and responses on any device which supports a proxy. So every request you make when you open a web page in any browser, be it on your desktop or mobile, Fiddler Everywhere can capture it, inspect it, and even modify it for you. And the best part is that it works with all web browsers, desktop apps, processes, and platforms. So if you have still not downloaded Fiddler Everywhere, head over to the Fiddler Everywhere page on Telerik.com and download it now. Fiddler Everywhere is now available on macOS, Windows, and Linux. So now that you have an overview of what Fiddler Everywhere is, let's deep dive into getting started with Fiddler Everywhere. So when you open Fiddler Everywhere for the first time on your Linux machine, you will notice the account screen. Now, if you're a first time user, you can fill in the details and create your Fiddler Everywhere account. Or if you're an existing user, you can sign in using your user ID and the password details. Similarly, you can also use the Google authentication to log in using Google. And that's exactly what we are going to be doing now. You can see that Fiddler Everywhere has been authenticated and it's now logging in. And there you go. We are now officially logged in to Fiddler Everywhere. The first thing you will notice is the welcome screen, which has a couple of useful resources like the documentation, blogs, videos, and some webinars that you can go through. At the same time, there are also in-app tutorials which help you to get started with inspecting traffic and using the Composer feature. We'll close this for the moment. By default, Fiddler Everywhere does not debug HTTPS traffic. To enable that, we need to undertake two steps. And for that, you need to head over to the gear icon to the top right corner and open the settings menu. Next, you need to click on the export root certificate to install the root certificate. The root certificate is now exported and is available on your desktop. Once you do that, you need to click the capture HTTPS checkbox, click save and close. Now that you have enabled HTTPS debugging, you need to make sure that Fiddler can decode the traffic coming in from HTTPS sites. And for that, you need to head over to the decode button, which is right below the live traffic tab and click on it. And now we have made sure that Fiddler Everywhere is ready to accept, inspect, and debug HTTPS traffic. Now, given that Linux systems have always been focused towards security, there is just one other step that you need to do, and this is within your browser. In your browser, for example, in my Firefox, I'm going to open up the options and click on Preferences. This will open up a host of options that the browser provides. In the Privacy and Security tab, if you scroll down all the way to the bottom, you will notice the certificates option. Here, you need to click on view certificates and import a new certificate. Now, we will import the Fiddler root certificate that we exported and saved on our desktop. Click on the CRT file and click open. Select trust this certif uh, certificate to identify websites because that's exactly what we are going to use it for and click on OK. OK again, and we can close this tab. Now let's open up the Linux Foundation website and see if this works. And you already probably have noticed that HTTPS traffic is getting recorded. As a note, you will have to repeat this procedure with every browser that you use. Now, when you click the session from the Linux Foundation that we loaded on our browser, you will notice the Inspectors tab, which has the request and response headers. The request headers have all the details like the user agent and the encoding type that was requested uh, by the client, where, whereas the response tab has the headers which include the HTTP status as well as other things like the server and the age. You can open up the text inspector to check the HTML text that has been written from the website. Similarly, you can open the ROT inspector to check the entire response. And that's how you get started with Fiddler Everywhere on your Linux system. I hope this was fun and useful for you. I'm excited to see how you use Fiddler Everywhere to debug traffic. Thank you.